Hey church, my name's Keith, I'm the Missions Director of Audacious Church. I'm so glad that you're joining us, making space in your day uh, to have a little thought and time with God um, today. And um, I'm just going to start a new series today over the next couple of weeks um, about mission. And um, I've asked some awesome audacious heroes who have been on mission um, in the last uh, 12 months or so uh, to share a little bit about what God has done in them and through them as they've stepped out in faith uh, being on mission. Um, but while we're starting today, the reality is, um, as a Christian, um, it's important to realise that we're all called to mission, not just going on a missions trip, but in our every day. Um, we can see it all through the Bible that God used those that had had a revelation of him, um, those in relationship with him, um, and he used them to take on the responsibility of, of being part of God revealing himself in other people's lives. Uh, well, that might sound a bit wordy, but I just want us to think about it. Uh, um, one of my favorite examples of this um, is Moses. It's all through the Bible, um, but Moses, I mean... We pick up his story in the beginning of Exodus, and uh, by the time we find him in chapter 3, um, he's already been born as the prince of Egypt. Um, well, born as a Hebrew, but then uh, growing up in the palace of Egypt as a prince. Um, but then he actually realised that he was supposed to be one of God's people, uh, one of the Hebrews. Um, and in trying to fix it himself, it all kind of went wrong. He was committed the horrendous crime of murder and he ran away from Egypt and the Hebrews um, out into the desert to live on his own in shame away from God for for many years um, until he had a moment. Um, I don't want to read it all now but why don't you press pause if you've got time and space and read Exodus chapter 3 1 to 15 right now. Okay pause. Okay once you've read that, we can see here some of the stages of Moses coming. First of all, we see that Moses had a revelation of God, a divine intervention where God reveals himself, a miraculous moment of the burning bush. You might remember it from Sunday school or if you've not heard the story before. It's, it's amazing. God reveals himself to him and Moses has that revelation that God, the creator of the universe, wants to speak to him. And it's an amazing moment. And what's brilliant is Moses then reconnects in his relationship. Revelation of who God is and then reignites his relationship with God that he was born for. He was created for. We we're all created to be in relationship with God. And Moses has this beautiful conversation between verse 6 and 14 where going back and forth as God says, no, I'm calling you. He says, oh, me, I can't be in relationship with you. I can't do your business. Who am I? And yet God breathes life into that relationship and it comes back to that understanding. He has a revelation of who God is. He reignites his relationship that he was born for. And then in that same interaction, as he talks, uh, God speaks to Moses about setting his people free. Moses takes on the responsibility that God has entrusted him with to be a part of bringing freedom to his people, being part of God's awesome rescue plan for the Hebrews. Revelation of who God is, reminder of the relationship coming alive, a relationship between God and Moses. And then a taking on of the responsibility of seeing people free um, and being a part of God's awesome rescue plan. Now, our reaction, uh, our interaction with God is the same. I'm hoping um, that you've had a revelation at some point in your life of who God is. And if you've not, then you're, you're looking in the right place. Make sure you connect with us on Sunday and uh, come to church Email hello at audaciouschurch.com and say you want to find out more about being a Christian and having a revelation of who God is. Walking into that relationship with God. And some of us stop there. We have the revelation, we have the relationship. And our challenge is, whether this is going on a missions trip or whether this is part of our everyday, the people that God's put in our world, our job as Christians is to take on the responsibility 
of sharing God's awesome rescue plan with those in our world. And I would encourage you to look today for opportunities to, to, to take that responsibility of being the one that shares the amazing news that we can find freedom and eternal life in Jesus Christ. It's so amazing. Um, or maybe, maybe you want to check out audaciouschurch.com forward slash missions uh, and see about coming on a missions trip where you can go and be a part of that as well. But dig into Exodus chapter three today if you have time to read it through again um, and think about that transition, revelation to relationship to responsibility and look for opportunities today and maybe think about going on a mission too. Make sure you tune in the rest of the week and next week and find out some of the stories of those that have taken that step of faith and how we can be encouraged by it. Have a great day, church. Love you. Bye.